can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do we ever kill not, not... any Afghans at all? Oh, listen, Janine. We know when we lose our own because we pipe our eye. We, uh, if you live in England, there's an orgy of public mourning. But we are never told what the casualties are on the other side. We were never told the casualties in Iraq. We still don't know to the nearest naught how many civilians died in Iraq. And one of the difficulties about modern warfare is it's fought against civilian populations. It's not like old-fashioned warfare. It's not chaps slugging it out so, in the uh, desert. So when you ask, do we kill um, Afghans, are you talking insurgents? Because we certainly kill them. Well, would be, well... Um, I'm not sure how you tell just by looking at them. I mean, it's well, strikes they're generally me... holding a rifle or an RPG. <laughs> or I don't think they are. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's untrue. Look, one of the things about what's going on in, Af in Afghanistan is we've got a sophisticated army that is being picked off by improvised explosive devices that are laid in public roads. You cannot tell me that you have the support of the civilian population and we're still losing personnel in this very obvious way. I just make the point that the Taliban, with their, uh, their laid improvised explosive devices, actually kill more Afghan civilians than they do coalition forces. I think that's so... very likely to be the case. But we are still not being given anything like the whole story. Uh, I'm not sure what story you think is left to tell, Jermaine. So, and I've served over there. And I can tell you that uh, there's, there's parts of the, the story that are not as robustly told as, the, uh, as you would hope, but it's often uh, the insurgents' story that is told more strongly than the coalition forces, and the coalition story is not well told by the international media.